Hello and welcome back to the channel. I apologize that my voice sounds a little rough. I've been sick and everything that comes with lately. So I am doing the best that I can, but in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download Clan Gen, the game that you see me playing so frequently here. To get to where you need to go, all you really need to do is click on this link that I include in descriptions of all of my videos under the how to download the game for yourself. It'll bring you to this page where the itch.io game goes. It has pretty much everything that you honestly need right here. It has the online version and it has some frequently asked questions. I recommend if you're not using a laptop or computer to do the online version. But as the warning says, uh, you can also go ahead and lose some progress between. So I recommend being careful there. I also recommend joining the Discord if you're above the age of 13. The Discord has a lot of fun challenges. It's where you can get better tech support for your individual need from the devs and from the community itself. Um, not everything is super duper supported, so I recommend joining the Discord for further assistance if you need. But of course, the frequently asked questions could also include the information needed. But if you scroll a little bit further, it includes the download version. Uh, you can just download whichever one is better for you here. So just select whichever one is better for you. For today's purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the first one. So you just select whichever one is best for your system and then download. In the upper right hand corner there, it'll show that it's downloading or it may bring you to a uh, little warning that your computer is going to put up in. Uh, whenever you are downloading it, it will usually come up with a prompt to say this is from an unknown publisher or potentially that's unsafe. All you'll have to do is click on that. It'll bring up the pop-up along with a little warning on the bottom right not to download it. But then there should be a little blue text off to the side about more options. And then you can download it anyway. At least that's how it is on Windows. Um, I'll try and include a pop-up of something similar since it didn't do it for me, possibly because I've already downloaded this or possibly because it's more recognized. But I'll include that information directly here as well. But once it's downloaded, just click download anyway. It will be an extracted file, so or a compressed file, with a bunch of stuff in there. So all you'll have to do is right click onto it and extract your file. Once you extract your file, you can extract it anywhere. I have a separate place just to save past versions of this. So I'll usually make a new folder and extract it to where I keep clan gen to the new update to try and minimize loss across different versions. But once it's extracted in there, you can open it and you can go down through all those folders that you saw before. There's really only one that you're actually looking for here, and that's going to be the .exe file. The .exe file is the only thing that actually makes it run. All the other files are kind of like the backseat for the game. So you'll just click on the .exe file, which should be the little sarclan -y icon, and then from there you can actually play the game. To access it quicker, I recommend right-clicking and pinning it to your start. That way you know exactly where to go and you're not trying to search for it every single time. Again, all you have to do to actually start the game is click on the .exe file, either from your start bar or from the actual file itself. Once the game loads in, it'll be the same game that you've seen me play before. From here, you can go to settings and info, you can toggle full screen at the top, it will prompt it to reset, but otherwise you can select any other settings that you would like that would make it better for your experience, and you can even change languages there too. From there, you can either continue your game, you can make a new clan, or you can switch clans, which will usually prompt it to close the game, and you can go between freely from there. I just have a few personal clans loaded in. That's really it for downloading the main version of the game. Like I said before, I do recommend going to the Discord. It's filled with fun challenges, like what I'm doing with Frog Clan right now. It does have some extra help 
formats that you can do as well for your specific problems. Uh, I can come directly from the devs themselves or from other members of the community that are willing to help you out. There are the dev versions which are a little bit ahead of the game, but those also tend to come with game breaking features and require extra downloads. So if there's interest, I may look into exploring explaining that a bit further. But generally speaking, I recommend just sticking with the official updates as that's going to be the easiest and safest for you. I hope that you all found this quick little guide to be helpful. If you're still having problems with the official downloading version of the itch.io, please feel free to comment below. I'm definitely not a very tech savvy person, but I'll do my best to help out. Otherwise, until next time, I hope that you all stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you then. Bye!